Hello, hello. Today we are going to learn Chinese with Chinese popular actor, singer, dancer, and skateboarder Wang Yibo. I will show you an interview about how did Wang Yibo get into skateboarding, and then teach you useful Chinese words and phrases. The host asked Wang Yibo, How did you get into skateboarding? What opportunity brought you into skateboarding? Very useful sentence. 怎么会接触到? 什么契机接触到滑板? Important vocabulary. 契机 Qiji similar with qi hui, but qi ji is more means uh, opportunity and the turning moment. What that turning moment got you into skateboarding? Hua ban, hua ban can mean to skateboarding or skateboard. Jie chu, jie chu can be a verb, for example, to touch. To touch skateboarding, to get into skateboarding can also mean to contact. For example, ta chang jie chu, ge fang bian de dai biao. He often contacts the representatives of various aspects. Jie chu can also be a lung. For example, <laughs> 眼神接触, eye contact. Another example, 心冠密切接触者, COVID close contact. 到 after verb means this verb completed. 接触到 past tense. 也是因为周围身边朋友们就是大家一起滑。然后滑去公司，然后再滑回家。也是因为周围身边朋友们，因为 because 周围身边朋友们 friends around me, or you can only say 周围朋友们 or 身边朋友们。周围身边 can all translate to be around. 周围 can around someone or something. It's more about a surroundings environment. But 身边 can only around someone. It's more related with uh, someone's sight. For example, 学校周围有一大片森林 There is a large forest around the school In this sentence, you can only use 周围 But you cannot use 身边 Another example 我爸走的时候 我没在他身边 I was not with my father when he passed away. In this sentence, you can only use 身边 but not 周围. Do you understand 身边周围 the difference? Yes, I hope you understand. 就是大家一起滑 大家, everyone, 一起, together. 滑 means to skate. Another example, 滑冰 means to skating. 滑雪 to ski. 滑 can also mean to slide or slip. For example, 球滑过去了, 球 slid over. Another example, 滑 can also use for adjective means slippery. For example, be careful about driving because 雨后路滑 Slippery road after rain. 然后滑去公司, 然后再滑回家, 公司, complete, 回家 means go home, 然后再, both means and then after. So in our daily speaking, when you tell a story, you will always use Wang Yibo used a lot of Ranho in this conversation. Zai, Zai, Zai. Uh, looks at later interview, he also used this word a lot. Hey, hey, friendly reminder if you want to learn Chinese faster, 
go to my Patreon page. The link is in the description. I have all my videos, PDF file, transcripts, notes, and MP3 audio. Download those so you can learn Chinese faster and learn Chinese whenever you want. 感觉就是代步挺轻松的，然后当时就是想买了个板。他说买了个板之后，感觉代步又没有什么意思，想做几个动作。感觉就是代步，挺轻松的。感觉就是 very useful phrase. Remember, okay? Feels like. 感觉就是 feels like. 代步，代步 here means because Wang Yibo mentioned he used skateboarding to go to his company and then go home. So he kind of used skateboarding to instead of walking to the company or walking home or driving. To the company or driving home. So, 代步 here means just means a means of transportation. That's why he said, 挺轻松的 very relaxed, 轻松 relaxed or to relax. 然后当时就想买一个板。当时 in that moment, Wang Yibo also used a lot of 当时 in this interview. Okay, pay attention this word, 买 to buy. 想说买了个板之后。感觉代步又没有什么意思，想做几个动作。This is the real thing, right? After you board the skateboard, if you only use that for transportation, you will feel ah, it's not fun, it's not interesting, it's so boring, right? So you want to do some movements on the cool skateboard. Right, so this is what Wang Yibo think. So important vocabulary here is 没有什么意思 or you can also say 没有意思 or 没意思 means not interesting, not fun, boring. For example, 这个电影真没意思 What does that mean? <laughs> yes, me. What a boring movie. Another example. 不要跟他去约会。这个人没有什么意思。Don't go on date with him. This man is boring. So how to say interesting? Yes, it's 有意思 For example, 这个电影。真有意思 ！What an interesting movie! Another example: 跟他去约会吧。这个人挺有意思的。Go on a date with him. This man is interesting. 做动作 ，to do movement. So, do you like skateboarding? 喜欢哦， oh, 不喜欢。How did you get into skateboarding? Is that the same with Wang Yibo? Leave your comment down below. 就当时就最早的时候，然后我有去就是跑一个滑板店去专门拼了一个自己的板，喜欢的颜色。This sentence should be like, 就当时就最早的时候，然后我有。跑去一个滑板店 ，OK? So 滑板店 means skateboard store. 店 means store or shop. For example, 药店 pharmacy. Another example, 花店 flower store or 书店 book store. Let me rearrange this sentence so you understand better, OK? 去专门拼了一个。自己喜欢的颜色的板。I specifically put together the skateboard with the color I like. Important vocabulary here is 专门，专门，专门 can mean specialized and also can mean specifically. For example, 老板在会议上。专门提到了他 ，the boss mentioned him specifically at the meeting. Maybe he did something bad, or maybe he did something awesome. Okay, that's why the boss mentioned him specifically. 
专门 Another example， 他好像专门和我。过不去。She seems to be mean to me, to me specifically. Okay, not with other people, but to me specifically. She's so mean specifically to me. So this is 专门拼拼 means put together or build. For example, 拼乐高啊、um, to put together Lego or build Lego. If you like Wang Yibo, you should also know Lego actually is his another one of his hobby. He mentioned he spent a lot of his money to buy the Lego collection. Hey hey, if you like my video, please go to this page to support me. Buy me some coffee. Your support means a lot. To me, thank you. 然后有有花过一个下一下午的时间去做一些学习一些跟着网上视频学习动作，然后就没有再学了。然后有花过一下午的时间做一些学习。Here important and useful phrase. Okay, remember is 花时间 means to spend time. 过 here means after verb means this verb completed. So 花过一下午的时间 spend an afternoon 去做一些学习 to do some studies. Another example. 我花了很多时间来读这本书 I spent a lot of time to read this book. 跟着网上视频学习动作，然后就没有再学了。跟着 to follow 网上 online 视频 video 学习 or 学 means to learn study 动作 movement。So he mentioned he follow online videos to nurse、uh, some movements about sport skating. Okay, he's really smart and really talent. He never really professional learning skateboarding before. So he just follow the online videos and then he can be really good at it. So he's really good. If you like Wang Yibo, you also know he had been dancing for twelve years. He's a professional dancer, so that's why when he um to do the skateboarding and he can learn really fast and also he his body can balance so well. It's also because he has such long and really solid foundation about the dancing. So that's why you know so he can do fast. But I cannot. Okay, so 跟着 is really important verb. I'm going to give you more examples. 你在前面开车，我跟着你。You will drive ahead. I will follow you. Another example. 这条狗跟着你回家了吗 ？Did this dog? Follow you home. Okay, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Which Chinese celebrity you want to learn Chinese with next video? Leave your comment down below. I'm Simona. I hope you have a good day, good week, good life. I'll see you next time. 再见。